hello and welcome to Colouring with Kay. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're doing well. So today I want to go through my gel pen collection that I use for colouring. So this video will probably be in two parts. So I'm going to start with my um, gel pens that I occasionally use. They're not my first choice to go to. Um, they also involve gel pens, um, sort of backup gel pens I have in storage. So without further ado, I shall get started. So the first gel pens I've got are the Diamonds set. I got this off Amazon UK and there are 48 gel pens here. That one's just popped out. So they come in this handy case with two clips here very useful so that they already have a case and there are 12 of each type of gel pen so you have the milky gel pens the glittery ones the metallic ones and the fluorescent ones <clears throat> so if you just look at one of them in a bit more detail so it's quite a slim barrel and um, nicely designed very nicely designed nice to hold in the hand they have Every gel pen has this um, diamond tip, hence the name being uh, diamonds. So I like this little bit here, which looks like a little bit of a crystal holding the um, pen nib. And this example here that I've got is the glittery gel pen. So. One of the best things I like about these pens is that they are fine, therefore, um, as in the line that you can get with them is very fine. So for books like Lost Ocean or very detailed colouring books, these would be ideal. The other place you could use these is um, they claim that they, they claim that the gel pens don't bleed through the page. So you could um, I mean, you can see here, they've really not bled through there. Um, that's the what I used with the outliner pen, so that obviously does bleed through. But then where I wrote on the gel pen, it's not bled through to the other side. They do claim that in colouring books, they don't bleed through to the other side of the page. And I found that they don't. So that claim, I would say, is true. Um, so that's another advantage on very thin paper. I would use these gel pens. So as an example, just to show you, here's an example of the um, milky, milky colour. And you, have, you know, they work really well because many people say that one reason why they don't like using gel pens is because they skip you know, skip as in give you while you're writing there's gaps and the ink doesn't flow as well, but I've really not found that these pens are really good. So that's the glittery colour, red as an example. So I'll hold this up to the page in a minute. Then here we've got the metallic they work really well. In fact this is my second pack. And I think we'll have a green. So this is the fluorescent. So if you're on a budget and you just want to get one sort of one set of gel pens that will will you know give you a bit of variety as well, I think this is this is a really good set to buy. So like I said, you can get this on Amazon UK. Um, and I highly highly recommend them. So that's the Diamonds gel pen set. Um, there is a name here, Z-U-I-X-U-A. Um, so you might want to type that into the Amazon product search um, bar. Next, I have my pencil case, my monster pencil case. And it's a three part pencil case which is sort of falling apart a little bit here, so I stapled it. Um, 
so here in this section I have my Smiggle gel pens well when I say Smiggle gel pens they're not really pens actually they are uh, markers but they are glittery markers so I know they don't massively fit in this gel pen collection but they're in my pencil case so <laughs> I do use them they're not very glittery to be honest a bit disappointing um, just going to show you close to the camera so I forgot to do that when I showed you the previous gel pens the um, diamond set so that's that and then I mean, you can see there is a bit of glitter there on the smiggle but very faint not massively glittery so they're the smiggle markers rather than gel pens then in here I have some wink of Stella wink of Stella zig uh, glittery gel pens so they've got quite a fine um, nib so that's the pink they again are not massively glittery they've got a very subtle a really subtle sort of sheen I would say rather than very very glittery so you can get these on Amazon I think they come in a pack of 12 so these here, these three are the Wink of Stella glitter pens. So like I say, they're, they're more of a sheen when you don't when you want a subtle effect. Um, next we have I only have about five of these, so not many. I've pulled out three here, which are some Posca glitter pens that I got many many years ago in fact i'll pull out the others I've got five yeah i've got five of them so these are colors so they they still work and they are nicely glittery so these are the old posca markers i've got and bring that up to the camera if you can see so that's those then I have a small I mean I've got many of these as you will see uh, are, these are absolutely gorgeous glittery pens you'll have seen them on other colouring channels they are the Pentel dual hybrid um, gel pens and they have like a because it says dual there they have two colors within the ink which is violet and metallic blue so you can if I just hold that up you can hopefully see in one in one light you see blue and then you see purple tinges um, they are they give you one color on white paper and different color on black paper so these again you can find on Amazon now this is the eight um, the set of eight that you can get but there is also a set of 12 which I also have so you have a gold and a silver in here that I think um, is just one color so the gold is just gold it's a lovely gold I mean these are probably the shiniest the, sorry the glitterest the most glittery get the words correct the most glittery um, whoops the most glittery gel pens I've come across so this is silver so that's one color as well so these two are one color showing you a few examples here this one here that I've got is pink and metallic pink and this one here is a 
think it's a green, yeah, blue and a metallic green. There. So on white paper, I mean, I'll, I'll show you a little few examples on black paper in a moment. You can see the the Pento Dual Metallic are just gorgeous, gorgeous, really nice to use. Um, this is is one of my favourite colours in this gel pen. That is in orange and a metallic yellow. So I keep those eight, which are nearly run out, in there as well, inside my monster pencil case. The final, the final bit is the final set of gel pens I keep in this case. Um, this is a hard um, bodied case. I got this from Amazon as well. It's quite big um, as you can see so open this up and you will find that I hope that's in the screen there for you to see um, I have I've got 10 I've got 10 with the scribblicious pens here that I got from the works which is a discount store that sells all sorts of things like stationery books pens craft stuff um, in the UK then these pens here are a set I think they were the I think they were the um, Amazer pens, that's it, they were the Amazer pens. Then these were the Pentel Dual Hybrid Pentel Dual Hybrid gel pens that I showed you before, but this is the 12 set. So this 12 set has got some additional colours that are really, really, really pretty, which I'll go back to after showing you what else is in here. And then this set here is the the Chromatech. So these are the Chromatech gel pens. It does say Chromatech on them. They are labelled with the, with a code for each colour, although it's a bit difficult to see. I think it would have been much easier if, like, if you can see here. I don't know if you can see, but it says Chromatech there. But the actual code for the actual colour is in here, and it's quite difficult to read. Which is a shame because if they had it on the barrel of the plastic pen then it would have been easier then i also keep in here my spare um my spare jelly roll pens there's a set of souffle there um which i keep in here i don't really use them in coloring books so they're the souffle jelly rolls and then i've got a few glaze spares jelly rolls and then i've got a metallic I think that is then I've got a silver shadow jelly roll so that is my um, big case of gel pens so as I said I shall show you the um, dual metallic hybrids on black paper and white paper so some of the new the, some of the colors you get in the 12 in fact in the 12 set the additional colors that you get so just right here we're talking about these gel pens here so the 12 set the colors that you get that you the additional colors you get will be this one which is the pink and the metallic blue that's a nice color so keep that out here because i'll try that on black pen so I'll try that on the black paper. Then you have blue and gold. So there's that. Which other one is there? Maybe this. This definitely you get in the 12 set. It's not in the 
so eight. And then I think one of these greens, green metallic blue, right, green and metallic blue, I think are, are in both sets. So it's in the eight set, set of eight, and also the set of 12, um, I think. So you, you just get another copy, but you can see you just get another of those. So you just gonna hold that up to the camera so you can see how lovely they look. If you were to buy one set of really nice gel pens, it would be these. So if I just show you on this black paper where we had on the white paper there, Hope you can see that. So that that was what we had on for the pink and is it the blue? Yeah, pink and the metallic blue. That's this one. So on black paper, it appears completely blue, whereas here you can see pink and a bit of blue in it. Next one was the blue and the gold. So this is the blue and the gold. So on the black paper, it looks gold to me. So that's that one. And then this one here, if you see it on the black paper, it looks green. And then if you look for this one on black paper, it looks not sure really looks quite similar to that one so they do appear differently on black and white paper but if I were to buy one set I would definitely go for the 12 set rather than the 8 because these additional colours these three here are really pretty so that's my video on my gel pens um, part 1 complete so in the next part, what you will see is my most go-to gel pen case um, that I use and that will contain mainly my jelly roll pens. So I'll show you the sets of jelly roll pens that I have. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please press the like button and subscribe if you wish to do so. Have a wonderful day and see you next time.